sacrament of the ordination to the priesthood. Ceremony of the last rites without value for the soul. I shall further teach you that you should free yourselves from error when it is explained to you that you have interpreted my word in an earthly, rather than spiritual, way. You should know that external ceremonies do not suffice for my spirit to express itself, and that likewise a person cannot be appointed into a teaching ministry or become a leader or principal of a community by way of external ceremonies. Many are called but only few are chosen, and the few are instructed by myself, I myself put them into the place where they can work for me and my kingdom. But the person is also subject to conditions in order to make him a capable teacher and leader of his fellow human beings. My spirit has to be able to work in him so that he himself lives in truth and thus is my representative on earth who administers his office in my name, in accordance with my will and guided by me myself. It cannot be denied that amongst those who call themselves my representatives on earth there are also people who live entirely within my will and serve me conscientiously. But they were appointed to their ministry by me myself and did not become my servants through external ceremonies, performed by their fellow human beings. Because their appointment is a personal matter of free will which surrenders to me completely, so that a human being is closely united with me by love, so that I myself can then give him the task he is to administer. But this heartfelt commitment and their life of love also assures the awakening of their spirit and then they will delve deeper into the truth too. They resist any kind of inaccuracy, they resist the distortion of everything that originated from me and will also disassociate themselves from error. So now you understand that you won't find my true representatives where people expect and acknowledge them to be for these exclude themselves by representing error and not genuinely looking for truth. They cannot be my servants and representatives because they accept erroneous beliefs and do nothing to acquire the pure truth. Thus you will also know what to make of the sacrament of ordination to the priesthood, for even if a person is of good will he has to prove it by declaring to me his willingness to completely submit to my will. And that means that he has to investigate every doubt arising in himself which I put into his heart myself to enable him to draw close to me and the truth. And if he shies away from contemplating such doubt he will keep himself forcibly blind, he could receive the light yet he closes his eyes, and thus his heart is not open to me so that I could send a ray of light into it. You humans should not say that it is not possible for a person who genuinely longs for me to detach himself from error, for you all know of my power and love which truly helps everyone who strives towards me, the eternal truth. But you have to let yourselves be taught first, you have to take notice of the pure truth, of my adversary's activity, of the misguided belief with which he has entrapped you and you have to have the sincere will to free yourselves from him and request me to help you. Don't you think that I would help you, since I only ever want to deliver you humans from the darkness of spirit and give you light? You only need to use your intellect with goodwill and you would recognize the flaws in what you are expected to believe. But you were given intellect otherwise you would not differ from an animal which cannot be held responsible for its actions. You, however, will one day have to give an account of whether and how you used your intellect since it can help you to become enlightened, providing you are of good will and desire a true light. As I keep emphasizing, Doubts about the truth are appropriate wherever external ceremonies are to vouch for a spiritual achievement. Your soul will never be able to gain such an achievement, neither on earth nor in the beyond, if such external acts are performed on a person before his passing away, they are nothing but ceremonies and customs and are of no benefit for the soul. 
However, I myself know every single soul and judge it by its degree of love, for only this determines the degree of light the soul enters into after its physical death, providing it does not enter the realm of darkness because it is completely without love and therefore belongs to my adversary who governs the kingdom of darkness. Amen.